The Paul Frank Show on BBC WM 95.6. Not the travel in around three minutes. Uh, Warsaw Healthcare Trust have started a takeover bid for Cannock Hospital. Uh, just a few weeks after health officials in Wolverhampton asked to take over the site. Let's go and talk to uh, Aidan Burley, Conservative MP for Cannock. Uh, Aidan, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Paul. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, now, two trusts publicly interested. So how important is this uh, that it's sorted out, really, as quickly as possible first? Well, it's very interesting. I think what we're seeing is a bit of horse trading, frankly, going on, as both of these trusts are now leaking uh, some details of their proposals uh, to the press in order, one presumes, to try and garner some public support for their rival bids. But we, we won't know the full details until the administrators publish their uh, report on the 31st of July. So really it's too early to comment on the specifics of the proposals. But what's clear from uh, the Warsaw uh, proposals is that there's more than one game in town. And actually the good news for Cannock Hospital is that there are a number of trusts who are clearly very interested in running the facility. Yeah, and uh, I don't know for certain, but I, I gather that if Warsaw Healthcare Trust is successful, then both the Warsaw and Cannock sites would continue to be run separately. Well, from what I can tell from, the, um, from what's in the press, and I know no more than that because, as I say, we haven't seen the full details of the proposal, no. they are quite different. Wolverhampton uh, is looking to shuttle uh, patients in a bus 10 miles to Cannock for non-emergency services and make Cannock Hospital a sister hospital to New Cross. Warsaw intends to run uh, both sites separately and actually invest some money in Cannock to make it more attractive for Stafford residents and isn't interested in moving services out of Warsaw. So they are seemingly quite different proposals. Uh, my only kind of note of caution is to try and provide a running commentary at the moment on both bids. Unfortunately, the council last week, Cannock Chase District Council, came out in support of the Wolverhampton bid. And then uh, today we find they actually now have come out in support of both bids. So I just think we should just sort of be a bit careful until we see the full details on the 31st of uh, July so that we actually will be able to see and judge what is best for the people of Cannock Chase. And, and just before I let you go, Warsaw uh, are saying that they've had to open two extra wards because of an increase in patients from staff. So, well, they, they, they exactly they seem to have an increase in thirty percent increase. I think they said of patients yeah. in Staffordshire. Yeah. The problems at Stafford, but really, you know, the, the most important thing is that Cannock Hospital becomes fully utilised rather than sort of half empty as it currently is. Stays within the NHS and provides services to local people, and that's always been my priority as the, as the local MP. And really, until we see the details of all of the proposals, of which there will be more than two, I suspect from just Warsaw and Wolverhampton, we won't be able to make a judgment on which proposal is best for local people. And I think we should keep our powder dry till then and not provide a running commentary as we sort of see, you know, leaks to the press over the coming weeks and, uh, and weeks and months. Aidan, good to talk to you. Thank you. Uh, Aidan Burley, Conservative MP for Cannock. BBC.